Um, also, Mr. Shapley. Come on. M Mr. Chairman, um, we're at one minute and 53 seconds over. As long as Ms. Ocasio-Cortez can get equal time, uh, she can uh, keep going. I, I will uh, let, let uh, Ms. Green wrap up. You, you start an investigation into Hunter Biden, codenamed Sportsman, which opened in November of 2018. Um, it, it was an offshoot of an investigation the IRS was conducting into a foreign-based amateur online pornography platform. Um, this, this is evidence uh, Mr. Chairman, of, Mr. of Hunter Mr. Biden Mr. Chairman, making sex. Hey, excuse me, this is my time. That was Hunter Biden's penis. And yes, Marjorie Taylor Greene just showed uncensored revenge porn during a House committee meeting, stunning Democrats and leaving Republican Chairman James Comer grasping for control. Should we be Displaying this, Mr. Did, Chairman, did, 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 in the committee. Did a lady's time has expired and uh, went two and a half minutes Mr. over. Chairman, Mr. Bufume wants the two and a half minutes. He can have it if, if he wants to yield some to Ms. Ocasio-Cortez. When she goes, she can have it. Now, ignoring the fact that in a growing number of states, it's actually a crime to publish or publicize someone else's nudes, what Marjorie Taylor Greene did served no legislative purpose. This was purely an effort to further humiliate Hunter Biden. Also notice how both the witness here, who's trying to put Hunter Biden in jail, and everyone in the audience averts their eyes to avoid looking at what Green is doing. Because even the GOP's anti-Biden whistleblower is ashamed of her. It's concerning that Republicans now think it's okay to wear the private nude pictures of a private citizen, someone who has never held or run for political office and who isn't involved in policy. Or, you know, at all. If only the House GOP had that same curiosity about Jared Kushner's ties to a murderer. Thursday's hearing was supposed to be about the big reveal of James Comer's much-hyped whistleblower, Joseph Ziegler. But thanks to Green's stunt, Almost no one is talking about Ziegler, because the media is busy asking what Green could have been thinking. And that's actually not a bad outcome for the GOP, because as Fox contributor Leslie Marshall makes pretty clear, the whistleblower's case is actually kind of flimsy. He doesn't have incentive, but one of the problems that I have is he wasn't in the room on October 22nd. And if you're going to corroborate, if you're saying this is our A-team, we have two people here, and, and you have Shapley saying one thing, and then you have Mr. X at the moment, until he is revealed, saying, you know, I concur and, you know, I back up everything that he has said, but you weren't in the room on October 22nd. So yeah, as it turns out, the meeting this whistleblower was supposed to confirm was a meeting he wasn't actually at. And would you believe it? James Comer found yet another whistleblower who got all of his information from a friend of a friend. Great work, guys. It is interesting, though, that Republicans are so committed to finding out if Attorney General Merrick Garland has been secretly protecting Hunter Biden, because they certainly didn't care that much when Attorney General Bill Barr was protecting Michael Flynn. As a long-standing member of this committee, uh, I think most of the members who have served a long time here know full well what, uh, what political interference and what sweetheart deals look like. Mr. Flynn pleaded guilty twice to lying to the FBI. President Trump's Attorney General William Barr personally intervened in the case and that led the Department of Justice to abruptly reverse course and have the case dismissed on grounds that a federal judge found dubious to say the least. And that's a quote from the judge. Republicans have a whistleblower who didn't see or hear any of the things he's claiming are true. And a Hunter Biden investigation that has failed to turn up any wrongdoing from Hunter Biden, despite spending millions of taxpayer dollars. And in the meantime, nothing else is getting done on Capitol Hill. With Republicans fully invested in proving that Hunter Biden is a criminal genius, nobody has time for roads or bridges or any of that social security stuff. It's Hunter time all the time. The House GOP has made clear they'll keep up their investigations until voters throw them out of office. And it will absolutely come to that. Because after investing so much in their fever dreams, Republicans just can't bear the psychological blow of giving up now. That means the slowly decaying corpse of the Hunter Biden investigation will drag on through the summer, though with none of the fireworks Comer and Republicans wanted. As usual, it's the American people who lose once again. Did you know Jesus was a QAnon follower? Well, not Jesus Jesus, but Jim Caviezel, the guy who played Jesus in the movies. And Jim has some wacky ideas he can't wait to share with Charlie Kirk. We don't like the letter Q, we don't like the letter K, but they don't go after the letter K. Give that video a look. And as always, leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.